Everybody thinks the first sign of zombies and civilization collapses. But nobody barricaded their doors or packed their bags and headed for the hills. This isn't the walking dead. It's reality. While in the middle of our current pandemic, there's a new strain of COVID that seems to, to uh, make people turn into some kind of cannibalistic being. We knew there were going to be any number of Zoom shows coming out, but the hope was by injecting zombies, you could make it perhaps a little more interesting. Petra, I think you're muted. Get out of there. He's right behind you. What? I play Dr. Rachel Butella, a general practitioner who's working at home and somehow ends up being involved in trying to save the world. And I play a guy named uh, Brian Ritter, who is a war zone photojournalist who's been sort of a badass his whole life, but his world is upended when he falls desperately in love with the insanely beautiful Rachel Butella, played by an actress named Audra McDonald. She's coming up, she'll, she'll succeed if she keeps at it someday. She's a Nobel Prize winner, brilliant woman, has one child, who is Audra, and uh, they have a prickly relationship. I play uh, a woman, a dominatrix, who's learning to work from home. <laughs> and I play a kind of Dr. Anthony Fauci-esque character who is in, responsible for the science and also dealing with the politics of the White House and how information gets out there. My character, Cindy, she is a White House spokesperson, a liaison who's working at the CDC and working alongside Zach to ultimately try and save the world. And they have a flirtation together. There is a flirtation there, a fun you flirtation. Zombies are fictional. There's no reason to worry. Production rented out a townhouse, and so they had a control room set up, and then a set set up on a separate floor, and then I'd be brought down and would be alone on the set with the director. Then they would go away, and I would just do my work alone. You're talking to a phone or a laptop or a monitor. There's hardly any scenes being played between humans, so it, it, the, the challenge of that was great. And it was it was an incredible experience in the meantime the real world that you're living in is scary because we didn't know what was going to happen to us in real life as well so it was it was quite something the client that came over i think he's high on bath salts just keep him hydrated keep him calm everyone seemed to get such a kick out of it no one held back there was one more hilarious performance in the next. I think there's a lot of truth telling happening and also a lot of fun. It's, it's so absurdly dark and funny. I, I, I'm, I'm so impressed with um, the end result. It was just theater camp in a way, which was wonderful during a time when all of us were, you know, we were able to put some people back to work. I don't care if we're in the end times. Everybody has to pay their rent. The impossible happens.